8th grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 8 lesson 9 the converse problem number one which of these triangles are definitely right triangles explain how you know note that not all triangles are drawn to scale remember a right triangle has one angle that's 90 degrees we can find a right triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They've given us the side lengths for all the triangles, and I've placed them in equations so that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. The ones that are true will be right triangles. The ones that are not true won't be right triangles. Since 9 squared plus 12 squared does not equal 14 squared, then triangle A is not a right triangle. Since the square root of 50 squared plus the square root of 50 squared does equal 10 squared, then triangle B is a right triangle. Since 16 squared plus 30 squared does not equal 35 squared, then triangle C is not a right triangle. Since 10 squared plus 10.5 squared does equal 14.5 squared, then triangle D is a right triangle. Since the square root of 3 squared plus the square root of 13 squared equals 4 squared, then triangle E is a right triangle. Do something nice. Like this video, say something in the comments, Tell a friend about this channel and hit that thanks button. Problem number two. A right triangle has a hypotenuse of 15 centimeters. What are possible lengths for the two legs of the triangle? Explain your reasoning. The hypotenuse is the side length of a right triangle that's opposite the right angle. It's also labeled C squared in the Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse of this right triangle is 15 centimeters. A squared plus B squared equals 15 squared. 15 squared equals 225. So A squared plus B squared equals 225. If B squared were 12 squared, then the equation would be A squared plus 12 squared equals 225. And 12 squared is 144. If we were to subtract 144 from 225, we would have a squared equals 81. Since the square root of 81 is 9, then side length A is 9 centimeters. For this right triangle that has a hypotenuse of 15 centimeters, the legs could be 9 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Problem number three from 8th grade unit 8 lesson 8. In each part, A and B represent the length of a leg of a right triangle, and C represents the length of its hypotenuse. Find the missing length given the other two lengths. And we'll use the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The information tells us that 12 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. 12 squared, or 12 times 12, is 144. 5 squared, or 5 times 5, is 25. And 144 plus 25 equals 169. So this tells us that C squared is 169, or the side length C would be the square root of 169. Since the square root of 169 is 13, then the hypotenuse of this triangle is 13 units. The information for B tells us A squared plus 21 squared equals 29 squared. 21 squared is 441. 29 squared is 841. To find the value for A squared, we need to subtract 441 from both sides of the equal sign. Now we know that a squared equals 400. We also know that the side length a equals the square root of 400. Since the square root of 400 is 20, then we know that side length a is 20 units. Problem number four, from eighth grade unit eight lesson six. For which triangle does the Pythagorean theorem express the relationship between the lengths of its three sides? Remember, the Pythagorean theorem only works on right triangles. 
and only one of these triangles is a right triangle, and that's triangle B. Problem number five, from eighth grade unit four, lesson five. Andre makes a trip to Mexico. He exchanges some dollars for pesos at a rate of 20 pesos per dollar. While in Mexico, he spends 9,000 pesos. When he returns, he exchanges his pesos for dollars, still at 20 pesos per dollar. He gets back one-tenth the amount he started with. Find how many dollars Andre exchanged for pesos and explain your reasoning. If you get stuck, try writing an equation representing Andre's trip using a variable for the number of dollars he exchanged. We can use the variable D to represent dollars. The exchange rate was for every one dollar, Andre would get 20 pesos. D equals 20P. We can use X to represent the amount of dollars that Andre started with. I've written this equation to help me out. I have the 20x, that represents the exchange rate, 20 pesos for every dollar that Andre started with. And then I have the minus 9,000, that's the 9,000 pesos that he spent. The 20 at the bottom of the fraction represents the exchange rate when Andre cashed in his pesos for dollars. On the right hand of the equal sign, I have x over 10. That's 1x over 10, which represents one-tenth of the original amount of money that he started with. There's a lot of different ways we can solve for x, but I think what I'll do is I'll multiply both sides by 20 to undo the dividing by 20 on the left-hand side of the equal sign. On the left-hand side, that leaves me with 20x minus 9,000. And on the right-hand side of the equal sign, I'm left with 20x over 10. 20x divided by 10 equals 2x. I need to add 9,000 to both sides so that I can get that 9,000 on the right-hand side. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides so I can get rid of the x's on the right-hand side of the equal sign. Now the equation reads 18x equals 9,000. To get just 1x, I'm going to divide both sides by 18. On the left-hand side, I have 1x, or x, and on the right-hand side, I have 9,000 divided by 18. And 18 goes into 9,000 500 times, so x equals 500. That means that Andre started his trip in Mexico with $500. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video and hitting that thanks button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.